Hey guys, now welcome to another crafting and DIY with Nora. Real quick, I saved another picture frame from the landfill. Took it apart. I found this piece here. Took all that dirty felt and I cleaned it. So here you go, all apart and cleaned. I took those are the wood pieces from the back. So I'm sanding it down a little bit because this is not wood. And when it's like a plastic, it, and it's very hard for the paint to take. And even though I'm painting it brown, I need a disc brown. I need a flat brown. I gave it two coats. That was it. Now, this heart is the inspiration for this. I bought that at Dollar Tree. I'm also painting this brown, but this is wood. So, I will only need one coat. But I had to go in between the pieces to make sure that it was painted, which was a bad idea because I'm going to show you what I had to do at the end. So, I'm adding white. That's the white, and that's the only white I had. I keep saying I'm going to order white, and I have it. And it looks lavender. I was not feeling it. But we was going to make it work. You see? That's my handy dandy blower. Have it for years. That's how I dry all my projects when I have to use paint. I'm going to sand it lightly. I just want that brown to pop. And even when I sand it and I finish, I still wasn't feeling it. But I had adjusted it at the end. I'm going to do the same thing with the heart. It's painted brown. I'm going to add that white. What I did was I took a rag, dipped it in the brown, and just spread it lightly around the frame and the heart. And we sanding it. Just to get that brown popping up a little bit. And it's lightly. See? So now we're going to put it together, the frame, put it together, so to speak. I cleaned the glass. We're going to put the border. I kept it the same color. And we're going to put the wood pieces from the sides. I glued it. I added the glue. I have a 100-watt glue gun. I added the glue to the side of the little wood planks because I couldn't do the bottom because that's the glass and the border. It wouldn't make no sense. Car stock for the backing of it. But I did end it up um, staple, um, not stapling it, putting some small nails to it. So we're going to add glue to the back of this backing. I suggest to never, you live and you learn, apply the glue to the paper first or whatever you're going to use. Paper sock. Whatever kind of paper. Because it curls up at the end and it makes it difficult for you to handle. So when you put that down, you make sure you spread you spread that. So I had a little difficulty here. You know, it's a shadow box. And the wood was too, the heart was too popping up. So, of course, I had performed surgery on my poor heart. I had to cut some of the back of it, cut so much of it, make sure that that back piece of the shadow box goes down right. That took me a long, not a long time, but a, a good 20 minutes of my time. Because what you see here is six minutes, but it's, that's not the case. So I had to adjust the heart, so to speak. Now, wish me luck. I'm going to glue it. And the way I, I, I decorated the heart, it, that was not the way I wanted to do it. But because the picture, the glass, and the heart was just right there, I couldn't add anything on it. Look how pretty. Even just adding picture, um, paint stick around that piece, paint stick around that piece would have made it still look pretty. Of course, if you know, you know, my shabby chic flowers, and I always have some in hand. 
I make them by the bunch and I always keep muslin fabric for that reason here. So I'm just gonna add some to the side and that's it. So now the moment of truth to add the backing to the frame. I glued it and I add nail. I, I nailed some small um, nails to it. Look how pretty. Look at that. I'm keeping it just like that in the back. Let it be known that it is handmade, refurbished. I'm going to add some flowers to the side of the picture frame, bottom and top. And that was it. And if you're watching my video for the first time or even this channel, please make sure to subscribe for more DIY project. And I do like basically every little shit I find. I'm just adding, trying to figure it out. And that was it. Until our next DIY project.